Good morning, everyone. Um, hair's a little messy. I just woke up. Just drinking some coffee, enjoying the morning. Um, I wanted to make a video, though. Basically saying, uh, I finally reached 100 subscribers. Oops, sorry. Knocking stuff over. Which is awesome. Um, just wanted to kind of do a little update. Uh, thank you all for subbing and stuff. Um, and let you know my plans for the future. On uh, my plans in general. What I'm going to do with this channel. So, I appreciate it. Um, just wanted to start the video with that. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. Um, in general, uh, any any videos that you guys like or view in the future, make sure to share so that way I can keep getting more subs and more likes and stuff like that. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Bad habit. But, um... With the video ideas and stuff, like, the, the way that I want this channel to move forward, um, I have a ton of ideas. So, like, any video that I've made, usually at the end, I'm, I kind of have a, an idea of the next video. And I'll say, yeah, I plan on making a video of this, or this, or this. But it's insane, because every video that I put out there's ideas for like 10 different videos so it's hard to have the time to to do the, the, like the other videos you know uh, unless I was like in general just stay at home doing nothing there, there's no way to put out every video that I say I'm going to put out which I haven't forgotten them um, it's all up here you know and I do view in my like archives and stuff I do view older videos every now and then um, just because I still get comments on older stuff uh, so I always kind of like view and just see where I was and and how I was when I first started the channel um, compared to now like just see the overall growth that and I like to to check the algorithms um, to see like what what videos got the most views um just kind of get a taste of what everyone likes you know because youtube is insane it's 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 weird and i don't i don't personally get it it's it's amazing to me that i can do a video uh, on something and to me i'm not even thinking twice about it i'm like uh, it's just just an average video. It'll probably get 10, 15 views. And then it seems like, sadly, and, and uh, ironically, sadly, the videos that I'll travel four hours to drive to a place, you know, and and, and spend the time and, and money and actually sit down and edit the video to try to make it look more professional. Sadly, those videos will get, like, five ten views you know and, I, and I'm just like what like I spent all that money all that time you know going there driving four hours there four hours back spending a whole day making this video editing it adding music titles you know and it's like it got ten views compared to a video where I just sat down lit up a cigarette and and talked face to face like this for five minutes you know but uh I mean, I honestly, it helps me figure out what you guys, you know, want in general. Um, I do have a video that will come out here soon. And I know, like I said, I say it, but it takes forever to either come out or a lot of videos haven't come out. But this one is actually filmed. Um, it just needs edited and spliced together. It took about two days to make. Uh, traveling around and stuff, but it's um, it's a 
like a historical video, just a, a cave, one of Daniel Boone's caves that, uh, here in Kentucky um, that we got to go to. So I'm going to do a little splice together, put it together, and put it out for you all. Um, yeah, my last video pissed off a bunch of people. I knew it would, too. It's, uh, it's already got more dislikes than likes, but honestly, I, I viewed it over again, and I don't see why it got so much hate, you know? I, I stated in the video multiple times that I'm not a flat earther, that I simply uh, just thought of something that was, I guess, pro-flat earth, and I guess I pissed everyone off, you know? You start messing with, with their ball, <laughs> they get mad, I guess. It's funny. I don't understand it either, because it's like, to me, uh, it just cracks me up, because I've said some outlandish things on this channel, you know? I've s said things like 9-11 was an inside job, uh, some stuff about false flags, how I, how I think half of these shootings are false flags and fake, and... I've said some crazy shit on the channel that you would have thought that would have been triggering, you know, but as soon as you say anything, you know, about the earth, the shape of the earth, it seems like everyone flips their shit, which is fucking hilarious. And the funny thing is, I'm not even a flat earther. That's the that's the most funniest part. It's like, damn, bunch of sore asses. Uh but yeah, uh, 100 subscribers, I I'm psyched, you know, uh, to me that's a milestone that has been, I've been waiting on it, uh, and I know I'm gonna turn a lot of people off because I'm gonna move what I'm saying in this direction, and that's fine, if you get mad, you get mad, I don't really care, um, to me that was a milestone, because uh, YouTube, when you reach a thousand subscribers, you you are eligible for um, monetization, and I have no problem talking about the finances of the channel because you know uh, it just it is what it is. Um, at a thousand subs, I I can get monetized, and that's to say if any of my content would even have monetization on the videos considering how much I cuss and, and the subject matter, honestly. Uh, YouTube has pretty much shut down anything conspiracy. I mean, even like my last video, it wasn't even, I'm not even a flat earther, and just because it says flat earth in the title, I'm sure that video would just be buried underneath NASA and SpaceX and uh, astronomy documentaries and shit like that, you know. It's going to automatically be shut down, the actual video, you know. It, Non-suggested. Um, so that is something that I'm striving for just because I don't, this isn't like my full-time job, you know. Um, I do work... I'm actually starting a new job, thank God, um, my wife works, this to me is, is, it's, it started out and it still is a side, side project, you know, um, I honestly, uh, the, the reason I started this channel in general was, um, I had went, I had been, okay, it's, it actually kind of starts with my ex-wife, you know, like, um, I was with her for six years, and my buddy, his, his name's Tyrell, we used to call him Relski, he was this black dude that I used to work with in a back drive at McDonald's, I was like 18 years old, and that's when I really first started getting into conspiracy theories, um, he just kind of opened me up open my open my third eye open my mind with um the whole basically just showing me a dollar bill in the back of the dollar bill you know um and 
he, he got me into that. And he, he was a big believer in the whole reptilian thing, the whole David Icke thing, which I'm not judging. If, if you believe in, uh, the whole reptilian conspiracy stuff, uh, take more power to you, you know, I believe in the Anunnaki, so I can't really judge you. It sounds just as crazy. Um, but yeah, he, he really got me initiated into the conspiracy world. And I, I just, I was hooked. Um, but I got super into it and I just remember my ex-wife just shutting me down all the time and making me feel like crap about it. You know, I couldn't talk about it. Here I was getting my mind blown and learning all this stuff. And, and this is without internet and stuff. We, we, we didn't have internet. We were too poor for that. And we jumped around so much like gypsies that we didn't have internet the most I had was uh, just whatever I could pick up from word of mouth and or like reading material and stuff. So uh, that and sadly like conspiracy stuff on mainstream television, that's which now that I'm, you know, more deeper into conspiracies and stuff, you kind of learn that a lot of that is just there's like little seeds and little nuggets of truth surrounded by honestly garbage when it comes to the mainstream stuff but that's that's what I started out watching you know and learn and how I learned about a lot of stuff uh from the get go um but yeah she used to just kind of like shut me down so I kind of like shut down and was uh just in general didn't really talk about it much and stuff so after we split, I ended up living alone. Um, and that's that's honestly when I really got hooked on on the stuff because I li I lived in an apartment, just kind of lived by myself. I had a lot of free time because you know I wasn't doing the whole married thing anymore. So. I just honestly, uh, that's when I really got into it, you know, for the first time I wasn't around somebody who was shutting me down all the time, uh, just kind of putting me down for who I was and what I was wanting to learn, what I was wanting to, uh, just in general, learn, you know, I, I had that freedom of, I could read whatever I want, I could watch whatever I want, I could learn whatever I want, um, and I don't know, I felt like for the first time, you know, I was able to, to speak, you know, I was told I was crazy for so long and just told, shut up pretty much for so long that when I finally had the chance to talk, uh, I couldn't shut up, you know, um, and, uh, luckily my my second wife, Sammy, the one I'm with now, luckily she she's the complete opposite, you know. She's never tried to change me or make me into mold me into something or someone that I was not, you know. Uh she just honestly she had an open ear from the get go and uh which I didn't just drop huge conspiracies on her from the get-go that would have probably freaked her out and she would have turned tail and run <laughs> if on the first date I was like yeah I believe uh you know that aliens came down and spliced the genetic code of the caveman and that's how we came to be she would have probably been like what the fuck um but yeah she she was really open-minded and still is and just let me talk you know and Honestly, that's that's one reason why I started this channel was I have all these like thoughts and 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 stuff going on in my head. It's just like a non-stop narrative, a voice, you know, that's that won't shut up and to me that's why I enjoy making videos is just because I'm allowed to say what I want about what I want, I'm allowed to talk about what I want, um, and not be told to shut up, you know, and honestly, I started getting hooked on, uh, other conspiracy 
channels and, and and stuff like that like to me it was it was nice to listen to like kind of like talk radio and stuff uh, like William Cooper uh, Alex Jones um, expanded perceptions and I don't know I just thought it would be a cool gig I was like you know if if I had this in me this like I would say it's a it's a blessing in disguise if I have this with me where I just want to talk 24 7 about this type of stuff this would be the perfect job for me honestly is to sit in front of a microphone sit in front of a camera screen and just do nothing but talk about what I want to talk about for as long as I want um you know so that's why I started this channel was not to become rich and famous, you know, or nothing like that. Otherwise, I would be reporting on Onision or, or more mainstream stuff, or you know, I'd be I would be making sure the algorithms are in my favor, you know. Um, but I do plan on having this channel and making this channel into a side gig. If I can make money off of it, uh, fuck yeah, I'm going to do that. To me, that's investment, too. The money I make off the channel, I'm going to invest in the channel. You know, I'm going to get microphones. Uh, maybe set up a, when I get a new apartment, set up like a little uh, podcast area. I plan on moving this, this channel in that direction of more of a podcast style channel, which is what I wanted from the get-go. Um, like interviewing people, uh, talking with people, re reading crazy stories, you know, um, have people call in, whatever. Um, that's, that's the direction I want to see it move in, especially where podcasts are so hot right now. And honestly, everyone's talking about how hot podcasts are right now. I mean, that's all that talk radio was back in the 90s, you know. It's the same exact thing. It's just nobody uses radio anymore. Um, but yeah, I see nothing wrong with someone. As soon as it, money gets brought up, everyone, not everyone, but most people shut down and go, well, you see, they're in it just for the money. Um, they're, you know, they they sold out is the term they use, but... I see nothing wrong with it. If, if you invest money into something and you want to see it grow, uh, what's wrong with making a little money to invest more and more into it? The more money you make off of something, the better it's going to become, the better quality, the better, you know, uh, just in general, more equipment, more better quality, more travel and stuff like that which is more videos in general stuff like that so uh that's about it but uh like and subscribe if you want thanks for the hundred subscribers that was a milestone that i've been waiting to reach it was like at 99 for the longest time and i was on the edge of my seat so i don't know who was the last one to subscribe but thank you very much and like share subscribe and hit me up in the comments